In this video, I want to walk you through how to use Alter Monarch to combine multiple different Excel files. Now, Monarch is really powerful when combining different formats like unstructured and structured data together. But one of the more common workflows we see is the need to combine multiple files of that same format together. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now, keep in mind, if I have the automation in Monarch, I only have to do all of these steps once. And that saves me that manual process of having to do that every time a new file is added. Now, for this video, I'm going to combine a few different files. The example is going to use UK box office records and keeping it consistent. It's going to be the fifth weekend box office results from the years 2023 through 2025. So I will start with importing the 2025 file. And once I get it into the system, I'll rename it to 2025 just so I don't get confused when I start adding other files later. Now, one thing I noticed is that the import didn't recognize my headers because they were on row two and this BFI text was on row one. So I can easily change that by clicking on the row and then selecting set rows, column headers. And you can see now I have all those set properly. Now I know the one metric I really want to look at is the weekend gross numbers and it imported as a text column. So I need to change that to numeric. Then I want to make sure I capture all of these as 2025 films. So when I get to that combining phase, it'll make it a little easier. I'm going to add a column here just to make it a constant value. I'm going to say year of 2025. Then I'm going to quickly rename this file as the 2025 edited version. Then I'm going to do the same thing I just did, but I'm going to import the 24 and 23 files as well. I'm going to speed this up for you since it's showing the exact same steps as I just showed with the 2025 version. Now again, if I'm using the automation in Monarch, all of these steps are essentially created as a macro and this manual process becomes a seconds long process. Okay, so now that the files are prepared, I'm going to come up here to the top and find the combine tab. And this is where I'm going to combine my files together. Now I've got two options. I have the join option and the append option. Join would let me use logic and only combine data that meet certain criteria, like only include columns that the distributor is Disney or something like that. Now for this example, I just want to combine the three files into one file. So I'm going to use the append option. Now with the append option, I have a few different options. I can either double click each file and that will add it to the space, or I can grab that file and physically drag and drop it into the space. Then I can click append and now you can see I have the original files in the original form and I have all of the edited files. And now I have a master file called append that I can rename, call it combined. So now that I have all of my data together in the same file, I can actually start to use filters and start organizing the data I would want. So let's do the group by data and we're going to group by their year, but we're going to sum it by the weekend gross numbers. Now this is going to give me a snapshot of the data I want. And now I can manipulate this data as much as I need to, to get it to be how I need it to be. Now I know the weekend gross number is based on the Euro, but I am in the United States. So I'm going to want to see this in the U S dollar. I can add a formula column here by right clicking that column. And then I'm going to do a formula column and Monarch makes it really easy. I can just click the different things I want, the different variables I want to use to use the operator as the multiplication and then the conversion rate right now is about 1.04 so now i have the euro and now i have the us dollar amount as well and i can quickly rename each column to identify these and then in my settings in monarch i have my currency set to the us dollar so i can just come to the format and i can change this to us dollar for my currency to learn more about Monarch or any of the other data analytics tools, go to www.trueinsight.io.